Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 30th, 2021. Yesterday, we had a mixed bag of results. We saw the Dow rising, we saw the IWM moving down, we saw the um, NASDAQ just kind of um, languishing below its 50-day moving average, remaining in a downtrend. So what does that mean for the day? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. I hope you all had a fantastic evening last night and you're all rested up and ready to get going for today. We've got a couple of challenges here this morning that we may have to face. So how about we dig into these technicals, see if we can get an idea how we might want to approach the market for the day. Now, I've been drawing this trend line right along here for some time now showing that trend. And it is entirely possible that you could choose to draw a trend across here and you could choose to also draw a trend across here now looking at this chart when we look at the Dow we certainly have a bullish chart no doubt about it hitting a new record high close yesterday following through with that nice move to the upside however we still have uh, shall I say a little bit of Tiny, tiny resistance with that shooting star top right there showing us uh, maybe just a little concern. We need to try and push through that level. I don't know that that's going to be any kind of a big deal and we're certainly holding up well. But one of the things we want to want to watch for is that possibility now after rising so much so quickly that we could pull back or we could rest. So if you're using this trend line, um, you might want to watch for that resting pullback that could either slide over toward the trend or we could pull back into that level. So we'll want to watch for that. We also have that possibility if you're watching that secondary trend that we could have that uh, market kind of drift and slide over toward that trend or even pull back into here. So kind of keep an eye on it. Now this trend here, hopefully we wouldn't pull back all the way into there because that would actually constitute a break of this price support. But let's keep a close eye on that for the day. Now we've got a little bit of bearishness showing up here this morning. Not a whole lot, but a little bit of a mixed bag. And as we head into the open, that could easily change a lot. So watch that close this morning. Partially the reason that is coming into play is we're seeing the 10-year Treasury yields hit a new 14-month high this morning, adding just that little bit of concern of inflation coming back into the market. So let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY did a good job yesterday after some early morning selling, and you saw we pushed down yesterday, and then we really tried to push on up. But unfortunately, we weren't able to make it out of the resistance of the uh, Friday's high. We ended up pushing up and then settling back down just below that high. And that raises just that tiny little bit of concern that we weren't able to follow through. Now keep in mind, we're holding above a price support and that's a good sign. And, and perhaps it's just we rallied so hard and so fast, we need a little break, a little bit of rest in this market. So don't be too surprised. You can see we got a little bearishness in here that we may just have to rest back into this support a little bit. Now we do run that little tiny bit of concern still that we have a possibility for a lower high in that chart. Notice that we do have a higher low as well. So we, we're building a wedge pattern in here. Now, if this does do what I, what I drew out before, if we do rest back in here into this trend, we could rest for several days, um, even you know a week, and it wouldn't hurt us at all, as long as we don't really break down on those support levels in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. And then we got that pesky QQQ. Now the doggone NASDAQ just continues to struggle here. And yesterday, as we 
you guys have seen me draw this trend line multiple times. Yesterday we left behind kind of a hanging man pattern right at that price resistance and at a possible lower high. So that didn't really um, raise a whole lot of hope or a lot of confidence in the market in that NASDAQ. And remember, we continue to languish below our 50-day moving average here in the NASDAQ. And as you can see, with bond 10-year <coughs> treasuries rising, we've got a little bit of bearishness coming in. So a hanging man pattern, if we were to get a follow-through selling pattern here in that chart, that would again raise more concern um, that possible lower high coming into play. So we continue to hit these uh, lower highs. Whoops, give me the right tool here. We continue to hit these lower highs, making lower lows in the process. If we were to slip on lower here and make a lower low, that's going to raise some concern here for the market and continue to create some turmoil, I think, in the price action. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM. I drew this trend line um, yesterday that we were pressing up against that trend line and yesterday um, we kind of reversed that. Not quite a evening star pattern. We would need to close that down about 50% below that um, a big white candle. But certainly a concerning pattern, all, albeit um, not providing that confidence. And now we're seeing just a little bit of follow through here today on that. Now, I think as long as the IWM continues to hold this price support, we could be in pretty good, pretty good place. But um, we don't want to see this failure here, this little lower high failure, push on down and break below that area right there. That would really raise some concerns and really add to some technical damage in the chart. Let's also keep in mind we're still struggling with some price resistance in this chart, and we've created these failure points that could be a little bit of a challenge as we try to rally back up. So just a mixed bag, a little bit to um, a little bit to ponder here this morning as we face a market that's showing just a little bit of a mix in those futures. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now doggone VIX, we just can't seem to uh, break this thing down. As you can see, I've marked this price support here in the chart. We'd really want to see that breaking down, but it's just been like whipsaw back and forth, whipsaw back and forth. And if you've been experiencing that your account is kind of being chopped up, that's one of the reasons. We can't seem to pick a direction here. We're just whipping back and forth with really big point moves and creating a little bit of a turmoil um, in people's accounts right now. I've been getting a lot of emails and everything that was working before is not working. We're trying to trade at the same level that we were when, every, when the market was just racing up but we're not getting this, those results because we've kind of lost some of that momentum. And when we do get a directional move, it doesn't seem to hold very long and then we completely reverse. So we do want to watch that closely with that VIX popping back above the 20 handle. If fear starts coming in here, we don't want to see that spiking up. So let's keep a close eye on the VIX. If we take a look at our T21, <clears throat> 22, the T2122 indicator, we talked about this yesterday, was pushing up here and showing us that overbought condition. We went from oversold to overbought in just uh, uh, three trading days. And we had pushed up earlier in the day, pushing this well up into here, and then um, started that little bit of selling coming in with that little bit of a mix pulling pulling this back down. So we don't have a directional indication on T2122 today. What it does tell us is that we have upside opportunity. We've opened a door for upside opportunity. So if those bulls can engage, we can move up. But we also have this big open area to the downside. If those bears happen to engage, then we could certainly see some selling here in the chart. Now I'm going to go back to just a Dow chart here for just a second. Actually, I'm going to go right to the Dow Jones. And I want you to notice that <clears throat> where we closed yesterday, and I think this is important, guys. This is the danger that this market presents right now. In three days, we moved off of the low of the Dow 
1,088 points. That is a, a remarkable move in three days. And we're kind of getting shell-shocked by this. We These great big giant moves, we, we're starting to ignore it just a little bit. But just keep in mind, guys, if we had a pullback, just a pullback of halfway, it would not hurt this chart in the Dow at all. But trust me on this, a 500 point pullback could be very, very painful, particularly if you chased into um, this late into this move. So watch that carefully um, and just realize we're kind of in a, in a uh, tough position here as uh, particularly swing traders because of these quick um, reversals and um, and nasty little whipsaws that can occur. So watch that closely. When we extend over a thousand points in three days, we have to suspect a pullback could be ready to occur at any time. And with the other index is showing just a little tiny bit of concern, we want to watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a couple things we want to pay attention to, but really nothing that we would expect to be majorly market moving. First off, we've got Case Schiller here at 9 a.m. Of course, housing prices um, have been <clears throat> holding up very, very strong in this low rate environment. However, we're starting to see just a little bit of concern in those mortgage applications, <clears throat> housing starts, housing sales are starting to slip a little bit. We'll wanna watch that closely. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, little allergies going on this morning, I guess, uh, at that time of year. And then we have uh, consumer confidence. Now, consumer confidence, the, the consensus is this is going to increase a little bit. So that could be bullish for the market today. Keep a close eye on that. And then also keep in mind, we have got Fed speakers um, coming out um, all, at, all day, um, continuing to yak away. Um, you'll want to pay attention as we plan ahead. Remember, the next three days, we're going to be talking a lot about jobs. First, we're going to have ADP on Wednesday. Then we're going to hit those jobless claims on Thursday, followed by the employment situation number on Friday. So a lot of jobs data will be coming out over the next few days. Kind of keep that in mind and plan carefully um, as you move forward here in the week. Let's take, <clears throat> excuse me, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now on our earnings calendar, we have about 76 companies on the calendar. We have a great number of them as unconfirmed reports, however. So <clears throat> I don't place unconfirmed reports into the mix for notable earnings. So let's take a look at some of the stocks that are in here that we'll want to keep an eye on. Take a look at CHWI. Now Chewy has been one of those stocks that this last year just did an amazing um, rally to the upside. Just huge moves to the upside as COVID um, and really benefiting from COVID as everyone was buying their pet supplies online. And now you can see we've kind of topped out here a little bit. And this is going to be an important report. We're trying to hold on a little bit of price support. We broke down below this area right here. So we're kind of in a range here. We need a good report if this is going to move itself back up and kind of recover. We're, we're kind of setting on the cliff edge. If we were to get a really bad report, we could see that drop and drop pretty hard. So watch that one closely. How about BEEM? And by the way, guys, I'm not going to go over all of these today. Um, you may want to uh, know that if you click the link right below the title of this video, if you're watching uh, this, click that link right below the title of the video. It'll take you right back to the morning blog where you can get the full list. Beam is another one that we want to keep an eye on. Now, solar has been one of those really important sectors um, um, in the market here over the last year. But we've started to slip and fade here quite a little bit in that chart. So let's keep an eye on this. We are making those lower highs, but also we have added in that higher low. So we've got this wedge pattern in here that could suggest we could go either direction depending on how that report comes out. So keep a close eye on that. Um, we have FDS. FDS. Um, keep an eye on FDS today. This is an interesting chart and one of those patterns that I like to 
to watch for. Um, we broke this downtrend. We held that downtrend as support, and you can see buyers pushing that back up. So we're breaking through some re little bit of price resistance levels in that chart. If this can rest or pull back in here, consolidate in this area, there may be an opportunity. So it might be worth keeping an eye on this one um, after the report. Um, we've got some bullish reversals starting to happen in that chart. Last but not least, I'm gonna mention Lulu. Lulu will be reporting today. It's been challenging its downtrend here, as you can see in the chart. It's got a significant level of price resistance just above. So it's going to be important how this reports. Are we gonna be able to break back above that or a break down? And I think if this breaks above, this may be one of those charts that I'll be highlighting in the morning prep videos. Um, if we can break above that support and hold and show some buyers stepping up, maybe just what we're looking for. So keep a close eye on that. Once again, make sure, <clears throat> make sure and check out if you want to get the full list of stocks on that earnings calendar. Click that link. Um, also, how about we take a look at some stock setting up for today? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video was worthy in helping you for the day, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and also, um, please feel free to share this video out on your social media feeds. Keep in mind, guys, that um, we're running an open house right now and hit run candlesticks and <clears throat> right way options. So I, yesterday I was just so busy I wasn't able to answer the comments and I apologize for that. And it may be the same for the next couple of days. So keep that in mind. It's going to be a little bit challenging. Um, the open house um, is available to everyone. If you guys want to come in and attend the hit run candlesticks or right way options uh, classes today, feel free to do that. We'd love to have you check us out and see what we're all about. So take a look. And then also another reason that you might want to be coming on over is we're going to be soon giving away a $3,000 Falcon trading computer. Um, I love this, that computer system. I own two and I'm probably going to be buying another one this year. So, um, come over and take a look, make sure you get registered for that Falcon computer. So let's take a look at some of the stocks setting up. And by the way, I wanted to just do a really quick shout out here before I move forward and just say thank you to those folks um, that are supporting the channel with the buy me a coffee um, link. If you look right below the title of the video, there is a link there where you can buy a coffee. And I utilize that money to uh, to try and um, improve the channel, improve the content, um, get better at what I'm doing here. And if you want to support the channel that way, thank you so much. And I just want to give a big shout out to those folks who have done that so far. Truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at a few stocks setting up and a few things that I would want to keep an eye on. First thing I'm going to do um, is take a look at Facebook here. Now, <clears throat> I know I've got a mess of, of drawings on this chart that I need to start cleaning up and do something with. But overall, let's take a look at this chart. Um, in fact, let me just remove all of that and let's just draw this out. First off, Facebook breaking this big downtrend and we've pulled back and found support in here. And now <clears throat> we're seeing um, a big shoot up here for a couple of days. I would expect maybe a little bit of rest in here, particularly with those bonds rising, a little bit of rest coming into that play. And what we were looking at yesterday is a bull put credit spread to try and take advantage of that. Now, we didn't get filled on it yesterday, but any rest or pullback in here would give us an opportunity to maybe pick up a bull put credit spread, and that would be maybe selling this 270, buying the 265. And we would have a defensive area cutoff in here where we would cut that trade off if the stock fell back below here. We want to get out of that trade before it costs us too much money. So keep an eye on that. A bull put credit spread might be something that would work in here. Now, of course, you can certainly go directionally long on this trade, but I would wait for that rest or pullback before that would be um, viable. In my opinion, it 
a little bit too much risk on that trade. Let's take a look at Mosaic. Now, Mosaic is a really nice looking chart. And the fact that <clears throat> we are resting right in here on a price support level. Mosaic obviously pushed down, but we held on to that support. And you can see we've rallied back up and we're just kind of resting in here. If Mosaic can hold up, you can see what I've done is I've placed a price alert in that chart. Now this is a real early price alert in that chart. And what I was actually basing this on was this longer term chart. Let's take a look at that weekly. That weekly we broke through this major major resistance area in the chart and we're trying to consolidate and hold that as price support so if looking if you like these longer term trades and i've been mentioning these lately and we've just had some really great success in some of these longer term trades this is a beautiful potential setup just let this rest or consolidate pull back and then see if we can get those buyers to perk up in here and get going on mosaic uh, pretty nice looking chart on that weekly pattern Pattern. Let's take a look at Lowe's. Lowe's also providing that opportunity for a setup. Keep an eye on this. We pushed up into that resistance high and now we're resting and pulling back. Now I think this alert that I've set in here will likely be moved. If we can rest or pull back, consolidate over to this trend, I will likely move this alert down depending on how that price action sets up. I always like, or this isn't low, yeah. I always like um, um, a stock that's running in a trend. And you can see Lowe's is holding up in here pretty well. This isn't L-O-W, this isn't the lumber store. This is Lowe's Financial, but I love this um, pattern in here holding up closely um, in that chart. Let's take a look at TAP. I still think after TAP has run up really big here, and I, I noted this one last week, run up really big. This is a big push in that upside move. So let's watch this for a rest or pullback. A rest or pullback, TAP looks to be manifesting very, very well, and any rest or pullback sets up another opportunity into that chart. So if you're not in it like me, um, you might wanna take a look at that chart. Um, also take a look at DD. DD continues to set up in here. <coughs> Resting after breaking through that resistance, just hanging out here, let's watch and wait and see if we can catch that bullish upside opportunity in that chart. So keep a close eye on in DD. And um, I do think I better, I was said last but not least, but I do think I better uh, take a look at Starbucks here. Starbucks, um, I've been mentioning this one for a while, popping through that resistance or my price alert there and now just resting back here toward trend. If that continues to rest back here toward trend, I'm gonna want to be watching for that next opportunity, maybe to pick up some Starbucks. So everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so very much. Um, for um, sticking around um, and clicking those thumbs up buttons. I cannot believe, um, uh, I'm so humbled by the fact that there are so many people following this content. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I wish you a great day. I wish you great profits and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Talk to you soon.